how did this happen? I just wanted to go camping. There's got to be an easier way to hook these solar panels up. I need something like solar for dummies. Um, I really think Blue Eddy has got a great product and they did not give me this stuff. I bought it, so I'm just reviewing it. And I'll tell you what I think. We just got in. And here is one of the 350 watt solar panels that I already had um, because I've got another one of these Blue Eddies as well. So this is the second one I got. Um, if you parallel two of these 3000 watt inverters together, then you can run 220 volt appliances. For example, our AC unit here. But here's a bunch of the solar panels that I've started collecting. I've only got four of them, but I'm going to need like 20. And uh, they're just 240 watt panels. Got four of them so far. Came yeah. prepackaged in another box. It was all the way around it to really protect it. So they did a great job packing it up. And what comes with it is the cable. You can actually plug this in for your 120 volt into your wall outlet to charge it that way. And you can also charge it from a car 12 volt connection there. I'm sorry, I'm not technically uh, savvy of all the proper terms. I'm certain for this. That's what I've got here. Now mind you, the battery is like 80 pounds. So, let's take a look at this thing. Battery's like 80 pounds. Here we got the blue eddy. So you need the battery to plug this in. There's the AC 3000 watt inverter for blue eddy. So let's go and look at the two solar panels. the user manual for the model PV350. That's what both those panels are, it's 350 watt panels. This is what I was told to buy when I called back this second, third time, whatever, however many times it was. And uh, it would have been nice to have known this to begin with, but uh, that's the way it goes. And it's called a Soft Startup. And uh, that is from Start Start Off USA. I'm going to let you zoom in on this. This is the newest product that they've got for these Soft Starts. And again, they didn't send me this for free. I guess this way you get really what I think about the products. There's no influence because they paid me off. You know, I wasn't paid off. And if this product here is solar for idiots, not dummies, you know, because I needed, I needed something better than solar for dummies. I needed solar for idiots because that's what I am. I'm an idiot. What is this? A soft start for idiots as well because it's all plug and play. The old version of these soft startups, you would have to climb up on top of your roof of your RV, pull the cover off of your AC unit, and then install it manually inside the unit. And then bolt it all back together, climb back down. And uh, there's nothing soft about climbing around on a 120 degree day on top of a 
your RV and, and uh, you know, like I said, I'm an idiot. I'd probably fall off it. I'm going to plug this in like yay. So you just plug so it in here. So here's the AC off. So I'm going to turn that on. Did you hear it click? Okay, it's not drawing enough wattage to register, so it's it's below one watt. Oh, I know what happens too. When you plug this in, it takes a little while to reset and come on, if I remember right. So it may not be functioning quite yet. See, I don't have any power here at all. So we're still waiting. Takes a couple minutes. This thing is working its magic and it should come back on. Told you. Did you hear that? It's running 70, 65 watts. We are now live. So let's see if this will run my AC. As you can see that it's drawn 61 watts, but we're still at 100% capacity, so it's not going to start showing me the, the, the solar that's coming in yet, because we're at 100% capacity. I think it has to get down like in the 90 before it starts trying to do something. So here's the cooler. I'm going to turn it on low. So you can see I've got it set. I'm going to set it to 70. It's hot in here. Set to cool. You heard? it? Ooh. No. That's only the fan. The compressor hasn't kicked on yet. And it's running 300 watts. Just the fan is running 300 watts here. So we're going to watch it kick on. That compressor. And what draw that is. See if we see a surge. This light, the the panel does not. The display panel does not stay on. Uh, you can go in there and change the setting if you wish for it to, but it just uses energy, so I'm good with this design. So as I stated, I purchased this unit for various causes. One of them is a backup generator, which it will serve its purpose for this. Secondly, so that I could take it on my road trips in my RV. And I'll show you my RV here. And, um, okay, it just kicked on. So 3,000, it went up to 3,000 something watts for one second there. Now it's down to 1,900 watts. So it's running the AC. It would not do this prior. It just gave me an, a low voltage error. Because that surge was up beyond 3000 watts. And so it would trip the inverter in here, I, I suppose. It would trip the inverter. It, it wouldn't it's supposed to have a surge of i'm not certain what the surge is on this the capacity for this 3000 watt inverter but uh, evidently it was too much for it and now this soft stop works great so the moral of the story is buy a product that if you're looking for something that is just very simple and easy plug and play doesn't get easier than this this blue eddy is a great product for that uh, it, it's great for camping it's great for off-grid living which i will go ahead and run that now so you can see that little clip um, of me in mexico while i'm building my house i lived in mexico for about two weeks off grid this with this here's a 350 watt solar panel 190 watt solar panel and two 240 watt solar panels
We've been running the swamp cooler, TVs, computers, the coffee maker, the fridge, on this 3,000 watt inverter from Blue Eddy, which is the AC300 Max. Right now we're pulling in 750 watts of solar. And we also have been running this AC unit right here. So right now we're charging, it's not too hot outside, so we're charging. I was running this DVD player and watching movies as well. It's been doing whatever you want to do, but we've been living off grid. Our water is being brought in by a truck and we're as off grid as you can get. I check out this view of the ocean from where we're at here. Staying in this little off grid place that is in here. And unfortunately, I had lots more video to show you. However, I accidentally deleted them all because, like I said, I'm an idiot. You remember? Now you know that's the truth. I wish I could sugarcoat it, but I can't. How did this happen? I just wanted to go camping. There's got to be a easier way to do this. How did this happen? I just wanted to go camping. There's got to be an easier way to hook these solar panels up.